Picture yourself as the head of a manufacturing plant, or perhaps you may already be one. When it comes to shaving material, whether it be stamping sheet metal for body panels in a car, rolling tubes into strong and robust frames, or extruding a hollow tube, unless the material that you're processing is soft like clay, you're going to need some strong surfaces and parts to do that. For these vital components, the industry standard has been to utilize high strength, high carbon content tool steel. Uh, tool steel works great in the applications as the name suggests. However, it has one big drawback, which is its cost. Uh, tool steel can be around two times as expensive uh, per weight as lower strength steels, as well as requiring more time and effort to machine into its desired shape. With the emerging field of additive manufacturing, it is now possible to save on the amount of material being used, as well as the time needed to machine those critical surfaces. 3D printing a tool part greatly reduces the waste of the costly tool steel but what if we could be, it could be taken a step further? What if more money could be saved by making the interior of this tooling part out of a less costly, low carbon steel? Now, this has kind of been our objective for our Arcelor Metal Wire Arc Additive Manufacturing Graded Structures team. By using this technique called Wire Arc Additive Manufacturing, or WAM for short, we're able to 3D print metal components by melting steel wire with a welder and depositing it into the desired shape. Uh, some issues typically arise when two dissimilar materials are bonded through heat intensive processes, cracking, residual stresses, and warping may occur. We aim to mitigate these shortcomings through the use of a gradient structure. Instead of a sharp interface, as you can see on the right, uh, between the two, <clears throat> we're producing a gradual transition between the two, as you can see on the left. While single wire WAM has occurred on the Michigan Tech campus previously, to accomplish a graded structure, our team needed capability to simultaneously feed two wires into the melt pool created by the welder. Thus, brought upon the creation of the ArcNed WAM system. The ArcNed printer is a complete overhaul on a previous WAM project that had been using a MIG welding method to deposit aluminum for aerospace applications. To effectively melt two wires at a varying feed rates, the electric arc produced by the welder could not be tied to a single wire. Over the development of the printer, we have produced a variety of samples with various compositions of steel. As seen here, we got our two wires to feed into the same TIG arc. So we have produced low Pure low carbon samples, pure high carbon samples, blended 50 50 mixes, sharp interface transition samples, and most importantly, our gradient structure samples. Each of these samples have gone through various types of testing to ensure composition as well as characterize the microstructure while looking for mechanical defects under microscope. Our current analysis of the sharp interface sample shows homogeneity between the two metals due to the repeated heating of the part during printing. Uh, this also causes the majority of our microstructure to be tempered martensite, which is desirable because it's more durable and resistant to cracking. Sharp interface sample is promising for tooling applications, and more testing will be done to see if the gradient structure is superior to that sharp interface. So this has been Peter Denian with the Arcelor Middle Wire Arc Additive Manufacturing Team. Uh, we'd like to give a special thanks to our sponsor at Arcelor Middle, Mr. Joha, our supervisor, Dr. Paul Sanders and the Material Science Department staff, uh, specifically Jerry Anslow, Paul Fraley, and Russ Stein. Thank you for your time and interest in our exciting project.